All right, so I'm just responding to the whole tournament cheaters box thing. So, you know, I had, I'm kind of going to go over everything with y'all and let you know exactly kind of like what happened and, you know, like my stats on it, why I did what I did. But either way, so the individuals who are saying, um, there's only been a few, but the individuals that are saying like it's fake or he threw the box in there or whatever you know basically that i planted the box or whatever um to get clicks and views number one that's not the type of person i am if you know me then you would know that i'm not that kind of person secondly i posted the video just to bring awareness to the individuals in my area that this is going on on our home lakes and it's not right i don't care where you stand on it as far as you think it's right or wrong it's wrong period so um either way to answer your questions about what is a cheater's box the cheater's box um is typically somebody who's like fishing tournaments okay and they're not baiting fish in but what they're doing is they're they're place a box or multiple boxes around the lake and then they will catch fish a day or a couple days before a tournament put fish in there and then on tournament day they will go and retrieve those fish and weigh those fish in to steal money from other competitors uh, it's a real trashy thing to do but either way with that being said um i've only saw a couple in my entire life once when i was a kid uh during a tournament um the guy got caught you know retrieving fish from the box the guy that caught him just he got the box after the guy had you know got the fish out and then they did what they had to do at the boat ramp um then we've had there's been people that has got caught you know putting weights in fish and stuff but you know you, you can typically tell these boxes apart from other boxes it's, it's pretty simple it's not like a fish trap where they have something marked to where they can find their box okay if you look at the video you can see the lake level has dropped like 10 foot that but or that box was submerged you know just a few days before that uh video and uh you you never would have knew it was there unless the water levels come down whether it's an old box or a new box i don't know but the box was not marked at all um the reason the mud was kicked up beside the box is because we rolled up on it to see what it was because we thought it was an awful square rock um but either way uh, aside from all the social media crap or whatever um it's pretty easy to tell it for i've been tournament fishing for 15 years um i mean it's just easy to tell the difference between a fish trap and you know a box that somebody's planted there to put fish in to weigh in for a tournament it's just you see it through the years it just happens okay people cheat it's it's not right but it happens what i do a bunch of people say hey put a trail camera up or call fishing game or this that and other Number one, fishing game, or even the police, are not going to do anything because I did contact them. There, they, there is nothing they can do until somebody gets something out of that box and goes to a weigh-in, weighs the fish in, gets caught cheating, and then whoever's putting on the tournament and the anglers in the tournament have to press charges against that guy, okay? That's what has to happen. Fishing game's not going to waste their resources sitting on that box for what could be a week before somebody comes back by. They're just not going to do it. Same with the police you know they're just not going to do it so what i did is i pinged the location of it on google maps and i sent it to everybody that i know that fishes tournaments up there and hosts tournaments up there and then they send it to everybody that they know who does the same exact thing so it's in the circle now i did have a guy message me saying that he is from this area and has found two himself over the past few weeks since the water levels come down um in an area i'm not going to say where it's at but uh either way the tournament organizers and stuff know where that stuff is too so hopefully the guys or gals whoever is doing it will get caught but uh as far as posting it on social media why did i post it on social media was to bring awareness to the community that this stuff is going on in our lakes and be careful fishing your little uh you know night tournaments or you know your little day tournaments or whatever kind of tournaments you're in you know be weary of the people you're fishing against i highly suggest if you're into fishing tournaments and i know a lot of people commented on here that they don't fish tournaments for this exact reason i completely understand but you can always start a little club and fish against people that you know that you know that's that's one of the big things you know if i fish tournaments around here ever i, I did a tournament a while back and it, i recorded the entire day it was a benefit tournament we just out there having fun you know so you know i encourage people if you 
you know are interested in tournament fishing try that you know if you don't want to get into that you get into the big leagues and stuff the polygraphs and all that so you don't really have to worry about that most of them have a lot of cam you know they have a camera boat or gopro or something on their boats so you know they can kind of keep up with that but either way you know i just wanted to answer all you guys and not post a video for clicks and everybody thought it blew up I had 3,000 subscribers on my channel a lot of the people were from my area a lot of people on my social media who follows my channel um or my social media channels whatever you want to call it they're from this area so i'm posting this stuff to let people know like this is going on in our home lakes and you, you need to pay attention to what's going on so um but either way i am glad that it brought awareness to everybody on you know what this stuff is and th this stuff is happening you know uh, i know it happens in bass tournaments i don't know if it happens in other tournaments I, i've never fished any other tournament bass tournaments but you know either way um like i said i just want to let you guys know now if these people are caught whoever is doing it i will post everything every bit of information that i get will be on my social media but I do want to forewarn you, this is not a channel um, where that stuff is common. Like I'm not, I'm not just making videos to, um, you know, do stuff like that. I typically do techniques, tips and tricks videos and stuff like that. So, you know, if, if you subscribe to, you know, try to keep up with the cheaters box drama stuff, you know, it's, if something happens, I'll let y'all know, but don't expect it is all I can say. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what will happen, but I hope whoever it is that people get figured out or whatever, but either way um, That's about it guys uh, If you have any questions drop a comment down below um, You know it, it is what it is. I mean it just happens I, I don't know why the world it is or the world's like it is today, but you know it is um, but you know, I just want to let everybody know I did not make the video for views or clicks or whatever. Didn't plant the box or anything like that. It's just something we rolled up on. Um, and, you know, just wanted to bring everybody's attention. But we did what we thought was the right thing. That way, hopefully, these people get caught. Um, and then also brought awareness to a lot of people that didn't know that this stuff went on. Now you do. Now you can keep an eye on it. But uh, anyways, I appreciate it, guys.